Hi, I am Benjamin Benny, one of the authors of the paper entitled Characterizing Black Box Composition Operators via Generated Tailored Benchmarks, and I'm going to briefly present it. To keep this video short and understandable, I will start directly with a concrete example before taking a step back and highlighting the abstractions that we propose and how they work to solve our problem. For more details about a given aspect of our contribution, I kindly redirect you to the paper. Okay, so let's pretend that you are Ben. Ben is a developer and he has a set of products description at his disposal, and he wants to build a catalog of these products from this description. And how convenient, Matthew has been developing for years a tool suit named Familiar. One of the goal of Familiar is to manage variability using feature models. And you can actually map Ben's problem of building catalog to a problem of composing feature models. In this example, each description of product is a feature model without variability. And thanks to the merge composition operator available inside the Familiar tool suit, Ben can merge feature models to obtain a new feature model, which represent here a catalog of products. So the solution for Ben's problem already exists. It has been developed by experts in the domain of variability management. But from Ben's point of view, from a user point of view, this is all opaque. The whole process is opaque. Ben see familiar as a service that takes a set of products description and yield a feature model that represent the input set of products. That's all. In particular, Ben does not know how the composition operator works. Ben does not know how familiar actually merged the product description and how the merge union operator works. And this is for the best. Here, a simplified version of what happens behind the magic build catalog process. Actually, we even put some efforts to extract and simplify this process. As you can see, it involves a lot of different steps, successively transforming feature models into various forms of logical formula, make use of external tools such as NTLR, Tweety, or Set4J, and even this final synthesis step, make use of heuristics and can be non-deterministic. So yes, hopefully this whole process is a black box and must stay a black box from a user point of view. But I was seen from a functional perspective, yes, Ben can use familiar to achieve his goal. But depending in which context Ben will use it, familiar may not work as intended or particular action must be taken to ensure that Ben obtain a proper result. For instance, Ben wants to allow one to build a catalog of products from their description via, let's say, the web. This is OK, only if merging the same products multiple times does not change the result. Indeed, as Ben intends to use familiar in a distributed context, he has to check that familiar composition operator is not sensible to merging the same products n times, because it's likely to happen in this context. This means that familiar in Ben's context must be idempotent. How can one assess that? It cannot be proven by classical model transformation analysis, given the various type of transformation that we have and even non-determinist step. On the other hand, state-of-the-art static analysis on the core are not applicable, given its complexity and that it does not follow any particular framework or guidelines. So our context is that we need to assess algebraic properties of a black box composition operator. Here the example is the merge of the familiar tool suit. We need to characterize such black box composition operator in a domain independent way. And this is the problem we are trying to solve. Our proposition is to answer the issue by generating tailored benchmark, which will assess if a given algebraic property holds on a black box operator. In the following slides, I'll briefly present our meta model how one can use it, and what our proposition generates. So briefly, the developer only has to define its domain from a composition perspective, provide a set of model elements, and write glue code to call his already existing operator. We rely on a simple in sound meta model to model internal composition law that allows one, here it is the fabulous developer, to model its operator and model elements that are manipulated then we need to bind this concept to the domain-specific one, to the family ones. To do so, the developers specify the manipulated model elements. Here, feature models. He also specifies the signature of the operator he wants to benchmark, 
and the property he wants to assess on his operator. As our approach is meant to be non-intrusive and reuse software that already existing, a domain independent way, we will generate mainly three parts that are part of the state of the art and state of practice. First, we will generate a set of quick check tests that will test if the given property holds on the targeted operator. But for this approach to work, we need to have a lot of various model elements at our disposal. These elements are not random. These model elements are not random. In our example, you cannot merge any random feature models. The elements must be meaningful for the operator and the test. This is why we rely here on a user-based generation of model elements. The user provide the model elements. They can be generated, they can be provided as is. In this example, we need to have a feature model provider that will produce pairs of feature models. We generate a skeleton of the generator that produces model elements, so the developer only has to fill the gap. As we do not know how to automatically produce meaningful feature model for the targeted operator, which is the merge union, the developer has to fill the gap. Then finally, a skeleton of the equivalence relation and the composition operator has been generated. Here, the developer has to fill in the gap by developing the glue code needed to call his actual operator implementation, and also how to develop code to state how to compare two feature models. The developer of Familiar writes glue code that call the already existing Familiar code base without redeveloping even a portion of code. Then a proposition run the test on the provided model elements calling the actual composition operator without knowing anything but its signature. The developer had to define its domain from a composition perspective, provide a set of model elements, which are here generated in the case of Familiar, write glue code to call its already existing operator. In this quick video, I briefly introduce you our proposition and how we applied it to assess the idempotence or commutative property of the merge union operator in the case of familiar. But actually, we apply this to other properties and uh, another domain, which is get. And for more details about how we do this in a domain independent way using, using factories and interfaces implementation, I kindly refer you to the papers. Thank you very much.